What's up, guys? This is your daily twin flame energy reading. Today is September 6th. It's the day that I'm reading the energy, not necessarily the day that it'll resonate. Um, quick message before, quick twin flame message before I begin this reading, which has been brought to you by GymBodyTMC.com. Please visit the website, order a hoodie, sweater, crew neck to work out in to get you a better workout. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the likes subscribe shares and comments as well may, may or not if you resonate with this reading you resonate with the group that's about something is about to happen in our lives during Libra season that is you know being one with ourselves and receiving blessings and and as completing the cycle we're discern who to choose from my computer is at so i had a dream um, about a night or so ago, I wanted to do a twin flame reading the other day, but I didn't. And then I was reminded in a dream this morning to do this video to warn you guys. So what has been coming a lot? Three of swords and seven of swords has been coming out in my readings. Let's talk about the three of swords. Three of, I'm sorry, the seven of swords first. Let's talk about the three of swords. Sorry, guys. Um. Three of Swords resonate with Saturn. Um, Saturn is going back direct. This is careers. This is manifestation of blessing. We can expect forward movement in career, forward movement in business, forward movement in whatever masculine ventures you're putting yourself um, out there for as it pertains to career and business, entrepreneurship. Expect forward movement. I think Saturn goes direct September 18th. So we can expect for a movement around that time. When the Three of Swords comes out, it can resonate with the planet it's associated with. It can resonate with, um, you know, the Tree of Life, what it's associated with. Um, but what I'm getting is Saturn, and Saturn goes direct September 18th. So we can expect for a movement our projects and things of that sort around that time. Another announcement. Seven of Swords also has been coming out of, out of my readings. Hold on, let me pull this up. Seven of Swords is overcoming its, its victory, but it's getting to victory by overcoming the obstacles in a way, keeping you away from victory. One of those obstacles, and we also get in 1010 in these readings, I can so that they have may have life. The enemy, the rest of that scripture is the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. I, which is the Almighty, comes so that they may have life. And by the Almighty, I mean being one with your divine masculine, divine feminine energy. So your your spirit, your physical self, your spirit self, and God. You know, the Holy Trinity in you. You're the Holy Trinity when you're one with yourself. When you're in alignment and, and you're one with yourself. Okay, so I said all that to say, during this time period, we're on our last ditch effort. We're on the nine, this is the nine of wands time period where we're putting in the energy, we're putting in the work, we're manifesting, but things haven't manifested yet. Partnerships and offers haven't manifested yet. Forward movement in our projects hasn't, we're moving forward as it pertains to work we can do, but as it pertains to receiving, especially on immense in divine levels it hasn't manifested yet so we're still working we're still working towards more life we're still working towards liberation we're still working towards a stable stability financially and in partnership as well as union with that said with also the seven of swords energy we can expect the enemy to steal to try and steal our um you know our inheritance or you know let's another word would be trying to steal what we're about to receive I mean, let me just, I had a dream about it, and I took some notes on the dream. On the dream, I was on the bike, and the enemy was after me, coming after me, wanting to steal something from me, my, my life, steal from me. So I'm on this bike, and it was a really big bike, and I'm trying to balance. The bike resonates with balance, so I'm riding, I'm going slow. So that's, that means that I'm slowly balancing, and the enemy was gaining ground. I, another person switched bikes with me. It was much smaller. So I was moving faster and I could get away with the enemy because I was balancing at a much faster pace. That was telling me, take on smaller projects, take on smaller things that allows me to balance my energies. Make sure um, 
I'm not allowing the enemy to steal what's coming to me during Libra season. It was a lot of other stuff, stuff happening in that dream. Um, my cousin, who's a Virgo, was in that dream that resonates with Virgo season. Um, yeah. Tires, it was tires in the dreams and it represented forward progress. So it's time for us to move forward. <coughs> now we more forward movement and progress. And our dreams as it pertains to stability and receiving on immense levels. But we cannot allow the enemy to steal from us, to steal our union, to steal our um, inheritance, what we're about to receive, our judgment. We can't let the enemy steal our judgment by not being balanced. And when I say not being balanced, you're not putting the work in or you're worried, you're in your head. Any type of mind, body, and spirit imbalance. It could be body. You're not putting the work in mind. Your anxiety, you're off, you're worrying, you're you're in your head, you're overthinking. Spirit, you're not believing, you're losing faith, you're not um, balanced, your chakras are not balanced. It's like not um, being in alignment in the way that you know that you should be or being off your square mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, physically, however. So remain balanced. And I feel like this illness is also an attack on the enemy as well because it keeps me from putting in the work and being balanced. But, you know, I have my mentor. She pushes me today. I have to. I don't have to, but uh, today I was scraping off this sign from my store, the old title, to make sure that I have room to put my, you know, it's like getting to work. Get some work done. Yes, you're sick, but don't let that, the enemy use physical illness or mental instability or emotional turmoil or worry to get you off your square because this is your season to receive. Libra season you'll receive, but this is your season to prepare to receive. So we should be working hard. We should be setting intentions. What, you know, we should be working towards our goals because we know things are manifesting. And we want to know what we want to manifest and we want to know. We know when and it's happening sometime during Libra season. But Saturn goes direct on the 18th. So expect forward movement. Expect progress and expect attacks from the enemy to impede that progress. And if you don't progress and become one with yourself, and if you're in balance, you're going to miss the ships. Then you'll be on the next cycle. Spirit does not wait on nobody. You, it's all up to you to do it. So if you're not one with yourself and you're not balanced and you allow the enemy to steal what you're about to receive, then you won't receive. Other people will, though. The people who remain balanced, the people who continue to work hard, the to continue to have faith and continue to stay in a good balanced place working towards their goals are going to be the ones who make it to the finish line and new beginnings during Libra season starting September 14th um, as it pertains to planets moving into the sign of Libra. Um, because <clears throat> I think Venus moves into Libra, then Mars into Libra, Saturn goes direct. So many things happening mid-September that's going to forward move our, move our lives forward and progress us and put us, you know, and, and actually receive. Right now, we're putting ourselves in a position to receive. Libra season, <coughs> we can expect to actually receive. So that was just a quick announcement. I don't want to keep that knowledge only for myself. Yes, these dreams are leading me on my personal journey as well because it's time. I'm tired. I'm, I don't want to miss the boat again. I have these dreams where... It's a bridge, and it's usually a celebrity. Last time it was Beyonce. Um, the, their spirits visit me. I don't know why. I get so many people who are celebrities here that I don't even, you know, for some reason, even and don't even be, always be a person that I, you know, follow or anything. But anyway, they take me across the bridge, and t two times I was about to be taken across the bridge, and it closed on me. I don't want that shit to happen no more. I want to make it across the fucking bridge. I'm tired of the damn bridge not I'm not crossing the fucking bridge. So I'm going to make sure I remain balanced. I remain intact. And I work hard towards my goals so the enemy cannot steal from me. Yeah, because there are no delays, you know. And it's not going to be delayed for you. So make sure you're ready as well. That was just a quick note from now. Let's check on the Divine Masculine. So we'll use 
these cards, this tarot deck. I love this tarot deck. It was like, it came with like some so it's called Universal Tarot Deck. And it also came with like soulmate card, oracle cards with it. Small oracle card deck. But I love this. Like, when I get my tarot deck made, first of all, it's going to require in-depth study. In-depth. It's going to be so in-depth. I really wanted to have it come out on my birthday, October 22nd. But I'm not sure I'm going to meet that goal because it's going to require a lot of mental, spiritual, and physical energy to get done. Because I like to have more information as it pertains to Kabbalah, um, the Tree of Life, um, the Kabbalistic Tree of Life, and also astrology and the planets <coughs> all connected into the cards so the readers can um you know have more insight and clarity it's more than just what meets the eye and some readers they only read what meets the eye but no when you pull the three of swords it's not just disappointment that's not you know it can be libra season it could be saturn going direct the energy is not one dimensional it's several different aspects and facets to tarot cards and my deck will definitely incorporate that I'm not worried about anybody stealing my idea we need more we need more readers um and card decks too and, and the cards you know they depict it you just have to research it spiritually and mentally all right let's check on the divine masculine spirit of the lord my feminine energy Come forward with a message for the masculine. Okay. Okay, let's start there. Stop there. So far we have the, so you can see, we have the masculine being an energy of the eight of swords. Then we have the will of fortune and the nine of swords. So, um, some changes are being made in his or her life. And he or she, either masculine, is kind of troubled by this change. But the change is fortunate. So this Eight of Swords and Nine of Swords energy is like all in his head, his or her head, because really it's a fortunate situation in disguise. So, so there's some trouble that he or she is going through. And it's causing anxiety and, and feelings of entrapment. But change is on the horizon and it's good. So this change, <coughs> he or she may not see this change, but they're troubled by it. Interesting. Happens. Happens to me too. Because remember that Jordan Woods video I played in one of my videos? Things are easier than you think. Sometimes you think it's hard, but it's going to be easier than you think. And it's going to be okay. We have to stay balanced mentally and physically, emotionally, knowing that, yeah, we're going to go through things, but it's not the end of the world. All right, see it. Come on, let's get some cards. Okay. Uh, I need clarification on this. Oh, these combinations are tough today. Okay, so a change is causing feelings of entrapment and anxiety. You're trapping yourself because a change is fortunate, but you may not see the full picture. And I'm talking about the masculine. Then we have the Knight of Swords, the Light, and the Queen of Pentacles is on the bottom of the deck when I pull that. So fighting for something that you want. I'm getting with the Hermit adding for this. The Hermit is singular energy, but the Queen of Pentacles is family energy. So it's like fighting, fighting for a change as it pertains to a family situation. Maybe going from single to um, fighting for your family. But it's like the light is leading the way, but but you're going ahead of the light. So perhaps there's a situation that has the masculine ready to fight for something or will have the masculine ready to fight for something, but you're too aggressive. He or she is too aggressive. 
and impulsive and you're fighting and you're going full force ahead of the light instead of remaining calm and tranquil. But it may be pertaining to a family situation, ready to fight for your family. Let's keep going because this is getting different. I haven't had a reading this different for a while. Usually my readings have all been the same story. And I'm just going to experience why you keep telling me this fucking story. Now we have judgment. Okay. Standing your ground. As it pertains. To oh. I honestly. Now I'm starting to feel like it's a court battle. Okay. Okay. Now it's making sense. So up here we had anxiety, feelings of entrapment because of a change. You know, maybe this change is good, but maybe he or she doesn't see that it's a good change. So since they feel like this is a negative situation, they're fighting. And this could be it pertaining to family. But <clears throat> as you can see, they're going ahead of the light. It's like you don't trust the light. Again, you're in this energy of entrapment and anxiety. You can't be in a trusting energy. So you're fighting for your family. You want your family, so you're fighting for it. But the issue is, it's court. So you're standing your ground as it pertains to a situation in court. With a judgment here, I'm getting court. Sorry, guys. So it could be taken to court. Fighting for your family, fighting for your rights. You know. Tough situation. I didn't mean to drop that. I'll take it. Then we have... Okay, a tower moment. Okay, with the two of swords on the bottom. Sorry, guys, you guys probably didn't see all those cards. Let's put these in in the corner. First situation, feeling of entrapment, anxiety, based on something that in their life that changed. Painful circle change, whatever. Then we have fighting, going ahead of the light, not being trusted. Fighting for your family. Fighting for your rights. Possibly standing your ground in court. Then we have Two of Swords, the Tower, the Nine of Wands, the Chariot, and the King of Swords combination. So there's a decision that needs to be made or making a choice um, after some sort of huge change. Maybe. You win the court battle, maybe you lose the court battle, but it brings clarity to a situation. It brings clarity of mind and thought. It helps to make a decision. So with the King of Swords and the Two of Swords and the Tower, this change brings clarity of thought. It helps you make a decision on a masculine, make a decision um, based on, I guess, still we're in the energy of family. It helps you make a decision as, as it pertains to who to move forward with. Because they have the chariot and the knight of wands. So it was like, I was working, I was worried about the wrong thing. Or I was fighting for the wrong things. Now that this tower moment happened, maybe you lose the court battle. Maybe you win. I don't know. Now that this moment happened, I now choose to, with a clear mind, choose to pursue someone else. Knight of wands. Knight versus Knight of Swords. Uh, Knight of Swords, fiery, fight, anger, sometimes anger, but getting to the finish line. Knight of Wands is more calm because now you have clarity of a thought and you, you had this tower moment and you're calmed down and now you're still pursuing with passion. You're still going after it with passion and more love instead of more fight. So the fight then changes into passion and forward movement. But what is this about? Who are you moving forward with? I guess the feminine, I would think. So masculines are going through a tower moment. I mean, going through um a change in their life. Oh, yes. Guys, like, seriously, I love this. I really love this. So then we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. I love how intuitively you can get the story, like you can put the storyline together, and then the next cards are straight in alignment with the story you already told. Sorry, I still get excited, guys. So 
Um, we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. See, this masculine is so fucking impul impulsive. So we have the Knight of Swords. And then we have the Knight of Wands. You calm down a little bit. Knight of Swords, it was a little angry. You was ready to fight for whatever it is that was happening. Then suddenly you have a tower moment <clears throat> where maybe things didn't go your way or maybe they did. And you realize it was all happening for a reason and also a good reason. So the bad situation turned out to be a really fortunate situation. And so you have clarity of thought now, who to move forward with and what you want out of life and what brings you passion and romance. And you make the offer. But still, you're still in a quick energy. You're still in the energy of moving very quickly. But you make the offer. Masculine. I don't know. Let's pull one more, one more time. Let's see what happens next. These are stories. Like these stories are lit. A lot of. Oh my God! Yes. Okay. The story continues, and now we're back on track. Yeah. Did y'all just see what just happened? Spirit gave us insight into what's happening in the masculine life before. My other readings have been. Offers are coming into the feminine. She doesn't know which one to choose. This is what's happening to the masculine life now. Remember I said we're in this energy of opposition trying to take away our inheritance. Us from being receiving. From keeping us from being one with God and receiving what we so deserve and inherit as chosen ones. As being, you know, vessels of God on earth. So this that's what's happening in the masculine's life. He's in a fight. <clears throat> Um, but leading him to this point, we have Justice, we have Two of Pentacles, High Priestess, Three of Swords. This is for a movement in Saturn. Remember, for a movement. Um, this offer, we can expect this offer to come around September 18th, around that time period when Saturn goes forward. This is an offer to the High Priestess, so the Divine Feminine, and this is Libra Season, Justice. This is also balance. So this is an offer to twin flame energy, partnership energy. This is an offer to the divine feminine, the partner to whoever this masculine is during mass, making a decision. But this is also the feminine making a decision whether or not he, she, he or she wants to be with the masculine with this two of pentacles. So now we're in the feminine energy. Things manifesting and moving forward in career and business and projects happening with this Three of Swords, Saturn, during Libra season, September 18th time frame. Oh, excuse me, guys. Hold on. I'll be glad when this little bug I got <laughs> to rinse through my system. I don't even remember where I left off. But anyway, so now it's up to, because we have the Five of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Which is competition. So the masculine wants to come in quick, have an offer coming in quick, wanted to move really quick the feminine during Libra season. Everything is moving forward for the feminine. We have <coughs> four movement in career, business project, whatever it is the feminine is working on, everything is going great as it pertains to career. We have four movement there. And so here she has a decision to make as to whether or not, you know, here she wants to be a partner with this masculine. Okay. And that's where we'll leave it off at the masculine because spirit led us to feminine energy. So now let's dig deeper into what's going on into the divine feminine. Man, this is crazy how we get so much information. Excuse me, guys. Sorry. Divine feminine. So you want to, okay. Interesting. Spirit gave me the five of swords. And the Six of Wands. It was on the bottom of the deck. Five of Swords, Six of Wands. Now, Five of Swords is the masculine's overall energy. So Spirit is starting us off with the feminine at the Five of Swords. Now, so that means we're not really getting insight into what's happening with the feminine right now. What we're getting is, at this moment, when the masculine brings in you know, as it ends at the masculine story, story which is competition um, with the feminine, that's where we begin. So anyway, the feminine is successful. The feminine has reached a level of recognition, success, and a following in her career, his or her career. And life is good for the feminine. 
she's here she's on her high horse and doing very well people are flowing she has followers fighters supporters everything going well with the feminine at this point and that brings in multiple offers for the feminine in this competitive energy okay interesting how spirit start us off with the story of what's been going on in the background with the masculine but then start us off at uh, you know, for it, future kind of, but near future. Because <laughs> remember, this is all happening this month um, for the feminist. So ooh, we can expect any day now for things to start going well for us. But, you know, just keeping in thought that September 18th, things go direct. And, um, okay. <clears throat> I'm not done. So that's not over our energy, but. Things go direct and uh, starting September 18th and September 14th and October 3rd, Venus and Mars enters Libra. Anyway, so we have now competition. Remember, the feminine is successful and there is several different offers to the feminine. Can't take them all. Now it's going back to the, the narrative that I've been reading so far. Can't take them all. So it's this Five of Cups energy and the Queen of Cups. Not, you know... It's like wanting the man of your dreams or wanting the life of your dreams or being in dream fantasy land. Like, this is what I would like my life to or figuring out what it is you want your life to look like and who aligns with it. Then we have Nine of Pentacles. Yes, choosing to be single, choosing to be abundant by yourself until you figure out who brings you fulfillment emotionally? Who fits in with your life? Because any of them could. And it just hurts your heart to, to break any of their hearts. So it's like choosing to be single until you figure out who brings you the emotional fulfillment that you desire. Walking away. Then making a decision and walking away from... Um, walking away from things that don't serve you. But not, walking away from those... Who don't resonate with your future and who doesn't re resonate with the next phase of life it's like you're moving on feminine moved on up it's moving on up and you don't want to choose someone who's not moving on up with you it hurts to leave them behind but you're choosing to leave them behind because they don't fit in your next level they don't fit in the next level of life with you it's just like acrimony acrimony that his ex-wife simply did not fit in his next level of life. She, her vision, the family, her family could not see beyond their current circumstances of jobs and whatever they had going on. They couldn't see beyond that. But the man, I forgot his name, Robert, he saw way beyond it. And he always saw way beyond it, but he lacked you know short-term vision he lacked the vision to take care of the household and things of that sort so while his wife was helpful to him where he lacked current needs current household needs she was not helpful to him for his vision for the future the woman that he ended up with was helpful to him for his vision for the future and she could take care of his current needs until, even though she didn't put in all the work and investment that his wife did, it just works like that. Your karmic may have put in a lot of years, may have put in a lot of work, but they don't fit into your next level. I didn't make the rules. The rules are the rules. It just happens like that. This is leaving behind karmic. Leaving behind people, choosing to leave behind people, though you have emotions and feelings for them, leaving them behind, remaining single until you're ready to move forward and choose who fits in the next level of life with you. Yeah, because the feminine is abundant. The feminine is visionary. The feminine had insight into this entire situation the whole time. So feminine understood what was going on while masculines didn't. So it's like... I just dropped a bunch of cards. I don't know if I'm... I'm not... I'm sorry, guys. I don't know if I want to take all this. <sighs> I guess I will. Um, I'll just read it all. 
Anyway, and I'll leave it at, you know, and I'll just stop this reading at that since I took so much. But bottom of the deck, we have transition for the feminine. You know, moving on up to the next day of life, we have hangman. You, we already know we're going to have to be in hangman energy, meaning we're going to have to be intuitive and be in tune and um, a higher level of understanding and, and peace in order to get through this time period and choose, you know, what's best for our life. We have the tower. We have transformation. And we have union. And we, it's going to take a leap of faith to let go of this karma and move forward with the lovers. And I'll start there in the five of and get married. All right, let me read it one by one so you won't think I'm just saying it. Moving on the next phase of life, transitioning. Going within because you know you have to be one with yourself to make this very important decision, but also one with God. And, and you have to be at a level of peace. I'm getting things from this card in order to make this decision. To move forward, that's going to change your life immensely. Bringing two together, two people, making very powerful decisions that's just going to change the dynamic of your life transformation again changing the dynamic of your life and transforming ready for the next level ending things that no longer fits in your next level and beginning things that do coming together in union with your divine partner is going to take faith what why because you have to let go of your karmic and come together and as a union and couple with your masculine and build and build yep yep Yep, yep, yep. Such a great reading. Let me put these back. But let me read those cards too. <clears throat> Feminine has big things popping, little things stopping. Big things popping, little things stopping. All right, so the cards that fell out, we have the offer. We have the offer from the masculine moving real fast, coming in real quick, wanting to move real fast. Like, masculine, calm down. You first knight of swords, knight of wands, eight of wands. Now you got this quick-ass offer coming into the feminine. Knight of swords energy again. Ready to fight for the feminine. This masculine is a passionate person. Ready to enter this new phase of life. End things and begin. End things. With people who don't fit in your next level. And make a clear decision and clarity of thought as to what, who you want to be with and who fits into this new phase. Um, you know, it's like the Wheel of Fortune keeps came up on both sides, bringing changes. But it brought each energy clarity. This Wheel of Fortune brought each energy clarity. The Tower too, because they both got the Wheel of Fortune and... I think they both got the tower, right? The masculine got the tower too. The masculine got the will of fortune <clears throat> and the tower and the feminine. So it's major things and major changes happening in both of their life that are good. Some of them may be disguised as challenging, but actually there's major changes happening in both of their lives that are good, bringing them both together, giving them both insight and clarity into their lives, into what's happening, into why things happen and how things happen so that they can move forward into the next phase of life. It's time to cross the bridge. It's time to make it. The bridge is not closing on us this time. We're going to make it. Okay, guys, I'll end it there. Thank you for liking, subscribing, and commenting. Please do so. <coughs> Google, stay hating on me. I'm trying to register my business. Um, and I have a physical store, right? And for some reason it says you're ineligible for Google My Business. Now, why in the fuck any business that's in here I can Google and go to? Why is my business ineligible for Google My Business? There's, see, Google stay hates. I can't do any ads for my YouTube videos. I can't Google My Business and it's an actual business in a physical location that I am licensed to operate. It's just, it's, it's crazy. So please share my videos, like, subscribe, comment, and help me beat this negative energy bring brought upon me for no reason. I wish you love and say a prayer for me so that I can get well soon, guys. Anyway, thank you. Um, Pre-order your gym body sweater. I wish you love, light, and more life. Love, light, and more life. Peace.